the yeah. woman's athlete is really Ex exceptional. Yeah. Yeah. They got yeah. so many <laughs> medals this time. Why do you think the men are having such a hard time getting medals or getting even on the near the podium? They are more attracted to the PlayStations, Xboxes, and all that stuff. So, <laughs> are you familiar with the uh, the trans athlete, uh, Laurel Hubbard, who's been been competing? What do you make of that? She's obviously a female now, so she has the hormonal levels of a female. So I think it's all fair. Gender doesn't matter here, you know. I don't really think about it too much, to be mm -hmm. quite honest. Adam Sos here for Rebel News, and we are at the River's Edge in downtown Calgary, asking people if they're following the main stories coming out of the Tokyo Olympics. We've seen the Canadian women cleaning up while Canadian men are struggling to make the podium. We're also asking people about powerlifter Laurel Hubbard, formerly a male, now competing in the female weightlifting categories. We're getting these opinions and more from people as they enjoy this beautiful night in downtown Calgary. So have you guys been watching the Olympics at all? Uh, yeah, certain events, but not all. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. And are there any stories that are sticking out for you? Uh, I really like the, how like DeGrasse won. That was really awesome. Even with like Simone Biles too, that was like a good story. Yeah, cool. Yourself? And the Canadian women's soccer team. Oh, nice. yeah. yes. And rowing. Okay. The all rowing, these things. Yeah. All yeah, the, yeah. And all the women winning all the medals like right away. That yeah. was awesome too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we are watch. regularly watching the Olympics, yeah. Okay, yourself? Yeah, we are watching Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. women's athlete is really... It's exceptional. Yeah. Yeah. They got so yeah. many medals <laughs> this time. Why do you think the men are having such a hard time getting medals? Or getting even on the near the podium? Well, I feel like it's just Canada in general. No one expected Canada to medal at all, like in the Summer Olympics. Mm. And I wouldn't say it's like towards male or female. It just maybe just happens to be like the competition that mm -hmm. really matters. I don't know, I can't really say it's like based off of sex. It's just yeah. skill is skill, no right. matter what gender it is. Men's are nowadays like, I don't know, it's my thought, men's are more prone to smoking, alcohols, not playing the games, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's my view, they have to play the games. It, uh, it, it would be better for the Canada or maybe for us also. Probably just because the level of competition may be a bit higher um, in the men's category. Um, like in the sprints, you know, normally the Jamaicans would be dominating mm -hmm. um, the Americans. So um, I guess in the female category is a bit more open. Um, anyone could take it. But mm -hmm. um, other than that, I wouldn't really know, you know. Probably under mm -hmm. stress. I'm stress. <laughs> okay. Oh, pandemic, they, maybe they kind of... Uh... Yeah, Slack okay. off a bit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> eating too many know. chips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are more attracted to the PlayStations, Xboxes, and all this stuff. So I will prefer them like going to do any physical activity. Yeah. Like whether it's gym or any other athletic activity. Yourself? Yeah, yeah I have no idea, man. Just, I guess I just gotta get out there, just train hard. Come next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I feel. Um, with a lot of sports in general, especially in the tracks, they go through different. I want to say um, eras like you would see before mm -hmm. in Team Jamaica they had the 100 meters uh, or the track team was just all men just dominating it now yeah. you're seeing a lot of the female ra racers as well in Jamaica doing they're really good mm -hmm. um, in terms of Canada I find that the swimmers are really doing just really well um, I just want to I think it's just it is what it is right. I, I'm really just proud of them are you familiar with the uh, the trans athlete uh, Laurel Hubbard who's been been competing what do you make of that if, if you care to share your opinion I literally just saw the highlights because she used to be a male and now mm -hmm. she's competing in the female category. Correct. But like that's great and I literally have nothing against her mm -hmm. and I don't know nothing about her to like really say anything but that's awesome that she can compete. She's obviously a female now so she has the hormonal levels of a female so I think it's all fair that she's competing in her right category and what she's comfortable in. Do you think that's fair? Um, not really. <laughs> no? <laughs> Yeah, but uh, she's under a like, mental health problem and uh, yeah, I think yeah, she should be out. Yeah, she's, yeah, it's not really fair for the female side, yeah, right? Yeah. Gender doesn't matter here, you know, so if you are focusing on uh, games, either it's a male or either it's a yeah. female, so hard work always pay, you know. Work, so. yeah. Um, I don't really make anything of it. I don't really think about it too much, to mm -hmm. be quite honest. Um, yeah, I just kind of just leave it as it is, you know. Like she, he was 
he was a sports person right before so now he is now she is right yeah. so i think like he also said people have to focus on the game right. not on the you know his his her gender so i think people should have to focus on the gen- um, what do you call it talent, talent. Yeah. yeah talent right. so i i believe it's unfair because um you know she was a male before so she had testosterone and was able to gain that muscle with the testosterone so that's an unfair advantage so i could see how it's kind of a controversial topic right because yeah. it's athletics and it involves strength and all these things so yeah uh, i think it's completely fair if uh if i i see just brings a lot of questioning but i think that is it's one of those things that um it'll be very interesting to see in the long run if other countries are going to follow suit um and how is it going to just perform overall in the in all together as like um as a sport uh, just continues to grow and then last off are you happy they went ahead with the olympics obviously last year they were canceled delayed they're going ahead now is it nice to see the world kind of returning back to normal oh definitely i think that uh seeing some kind of light of just at the end of the tunnel after this pandemic just brings happiness all together definitely there are some decisions made by the committee that i definitely don't agree with but um overall i just definitely see that my, the athletes are having a chance to show themselves again oh yeah i am very happy man cuz now vaccination is done in canada also and in india also and everywhere else so happy to see people like enjoying in the whole downtown as well as in the world also how happy are you that the olympics are finally going ahead now yeah very happy you know i'm um, is something i really look forward to every 4 years mm-hmm. so um yeah i was really happy that it started yeah of course everyone is enjoying their own outside games like because before from last 2 years everyone was like packed in the home you know yeah. now they are going outside so many people are visiting japan now to see the olympics right mm-hmm. so it's good to uh, go outside and see what's going on out uh, in the uh, world you know so of course covid is like little bit dangerous but nowadays we can say dangerous but now we are frustrating or maybe me not me but everyone is frustrating uh-huh. it's good to go outside and see some playing games and yes yeah, yeah. we are very much appreciate it yes. it's very good to watch yes awesome. and it's good distraction from covid stuff like people were going crazy before yeah cuz they were in stuck in the home and they were having mental stress and kids also they were not going to the school go canada go <laughs> awesome yeah. Well, there you have it. People are generally happy that the Olympics are back on. Some of the more contentious issues, however, are drawing divides. People can't exactly put their finger on why men are struggling to get medals for our country, and we had some divided opinions on Laurel Hubbard. Overall, it was great to get feedback from Calgarians on these Olympics before they wrap up. I want to thank you for following the story. For Rebel News, I'm Adam Sos. Well, folks, as you saw, my shirt got a lot of great reactions today at the event. So much so that people were quite literally accosting us. If you want to represent Rebel News proudly, go to rebelnewsstore.com now. Grab a shirt like this or any of our other awesome shirts there.